Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting, and our topic today is Production Budget. This is part of a series of videos about budgets, so the other videos are on in our video description. And if we are talking about budget, we are talking about Excel. So let's go to our Excel file. So guys, as you know, all of our Excel files, they are available for download and the link, in, link is in our video description. So first of all, to work with production budget, our production is based on our sales. So we also need the sales budget. And if you wanna know more about sales budget, we have a video about that. It is in our video description. What do we know the unit sales? Never, never copy and paste one number from one sheet to another sheet. Link them. Because if you copy and paste and you change one, it will not be changing here and your balance sheet will not be balanced. Unit sales, so January equal unit sales here, 30. And we can copy and paste here until December and total sum of our unit sales. And it must match 304.5, 304.5 with our sales budget. Plus desire ending inventory. Our inventory or our production budget, it is based on uh, just like our cost of goods sold. Uh, and then unit sale plus any inventory total uh, total needed or available for sale if we go to our financial accounting. Last beginning inventory is the number of units to produce. Okay. Uh, it's based on periodic inventory system and not perpetual inventory system. Okay. Desire ending inventory, how much? It is based on the company policies. So let's consider that the policy for any inventory is based on percentage of next month sales, and let's consider here 15%. So 15%, we can copy and paste this number to the other month. Why don't link it? Or we can link it if we have the same policy for all year long. If we don't have the same policy, we only need to change the numbers. So desire in the inventory, next month sales times 15%, times our policy. Open paste until November. Why not December? Because December, if we open paste here, our numbers will be based on total. And we don't want this. We need to be based on the following January. That's why on sales we have the January number. That is the following January. So our December will be January plus at uh, times, sorry, 15% here. And the total, the total is not the sum because we are talking about inventory. We are talking about balance sheet. So here, what is the total ending inventory in December. It will be the ending inventory of December. So it will be 4,823. And the total needed unit sales plus ending inventory. Cool. Last, beginning inventory. Let's consider that we are a, a new company. So we have no beginning analysis. If we have it, we only copy and paste the number from the uh, previous, uh, previous December. And from, from February to, to December, the beginning inventory is the previous ending inventory. So it is the previous ending inventory here. We copy until December. And here, again, we cannot sum them because the beginning inventory will be the, the beginning inventory of January. So here it will be beginning inventory of 
January. So this number here will be the ending inventory of December. And this number here will be for the green here, beginning inventory of January. And number of units to produce, total needed last beginning inventory. 33,000 January. And why less beginning inventory? Because, okay, we need uh, 23,000 units in February. However, I already have 3,000 from the previous month. So we need only 20. And December here, also copy and paste for the total. How do we know if this total is here? We change this number here, so we are not so confident. Again, if we sum here, we must match. The numbers must match. Okay, guys, so that's it. Uh, production budget, just to a brief, just a brief review. Production budget is based on sales budget and internal policy. Here, we are not working about money because we don't pay the, um, the total amount of production. We pay the costs. And if we are talking about manufacturing company, we pay for direct materials, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead. Here, we are working only with units. Okay, guys, so thank you so much. If you have questions or comments, please leave it here or email me at jscarping at gmail.com. Uh, if uh, please subscribe our channel, like our video, and have a very nice day.